that. To my brother, happy uh, day for you. And uh, may it last forever. And let's do this. One celebration on the Million Man Mars Day. We here marching for you. And we getting it in. And uh, everybody else say I ain't shit, but my brother say I'm the best man. So I'm good. What an honor. My first sibling to ever be married. Two beautiful families joining hands. I never seen them so happy. This is the best day of my life. Best it's day. going down. I got the most important people in my life right around me right now. And it's going down, straight up. Hey, Jackie getting married. Jackie getting married. I wanted everything. The wedding had me gassed. But once I dropped the one knee, how big does that rock have to be? And do I really have to ask the father for permission? Got me to thinking. So I called my main man, Angry Black Mo, AKA Master Cypher. We reconnected at my brother's wedding after not speaking for seven years after a fallout. So in good spirit, I wanted to talk to him about the thoughts of me getting married. You know, get his opinion. This might sound harsh and I don't even mean to be harsh, but this is what it is, so boom. Your ass need to have some fucking kids. You too shrewd to get married that a real bitch won't you. You in that episode of that vegan life where you need a hoe around you all the time. You don't know what real love or real family is. You got a fucked up mentality because you too shallow and you too, um, you're a one-way person. Sometimes that's good and most of the time it's bad. Television is good sometimes, but it ain't really good all the time. All right? So you're getting ready to be too old for a bitch to want you. I hope you're Johnson working, and you might be a little too old to bust a good right nut like you should. So I don't know if you're going to have to adapt some Chinese babies or some shit, but you're going to have to do something for a motherfucker to take care of your shrewd as your old age. Okay? Peace. These are real questions that men want to know. Yeah. Okay. No, but Chinese. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do you such thing as a good man? Let me drink to that. Ooh. Let's go. That's LA Live in her magic sippy cup, and I'm at a bachelorette party. Peruvian and bossy. She tried to take over my production, run her own program. A que la mujer es una dama y se le respeta. Wait, wait, wait. Take, take what? No, no. This is in Spanish, baby. Cut, cut. This is in Spanish. I mean, this. Cut. This is in English. Cut. He fix. Easy fix. That's easy. And she means it. And before you take the plunge, think of the consequences because they're so, so real. That's bug out. And that sounded like a warning shot being fired. You think you know men? Yeah, they dumb as f yeah. How old are you? I'm 28. I could make him better. But oh. because by by um by being supportive, by encouraging him, by praying for him, by loving him, nurturing him, being all those good things if he's good to me. Other than that, you gonna get the same motherfucking treatment you give me. Always. Number one, you need to be prepared. Well groomed man, it's very important. You better have made reservations. You need to have a big penis. Take me on vacation. Matching clothes and shoes. No white socks. Heck no. I don't want to sit here and have to walk you through this whole process. Be a provider. Be funny. You're supposed to be making me feel all the feelings. I'm not gonna feel all of these feelings if I have to hold your hand like your child. Manicures and pedicures. Why not? We do it all the time. You guys like it. You wanna suck on your toes? Men, we could want to do that too. Did I say big penis? Did I say be a provider? A fucking provider. Court my ass. Take my ass out. I don't care if it's to fucking get some ice cream in the summertime. They can take me outdoors. If it's our anniversary, don't forget. If it's my birthday, do not forget. When we're going out, please don't ask me once we're in the car, what do you want to do? That's bug out. Of course you can go on the boys' night out. But I need to know where it is, who's gonna be there. You can give me some wifey's phone numbers, even better. When it's boys night out, it's us night out, period. Why would you wanna leave me home thinking 
all the worst things that are probably not even happening. But you know what's going through my mind? You're laughing and reminiscing about your ex. You're looking at bitches in tight skirts. I can wear a tight skirt and I look better than those hips, but you got me at home, so you forgot. Take me with you. You know, might as well come out with me. I mean, I can show some bling bling, you know? Oh, shit. I just struck a nerve. Ooh, the phone. This is about to get heated, though. I think y'all so smart in the head of the game. The thing that you don't do, see if you a player pimp like me, again, I'ma just make you think that everything is okay, but when you- Don't give it up! Don't, don't give it up! up. This is a fly I'm on not. the wall. No, I'm everywhere. I'm no. To my future husband, your phone is my phone. Period. There should be nothing that you have to hide. If there is, we have a problem. About scrolling down to the left, to the right on your phone, Danda being there. I already saw everything I had to see. Why would you put a passcode on your freaking phone? Okay, that tells me something. Do you think I'm not gonna find out what's the little passcode? I will. And there is other ways how to get information. <laughs> Don't even get me started, coño la They wanna sit here, keep their phone on vibrate. Don't open, don't look at your phone at an angle. And on top of that, just don't be fucking stupid. Fucking stupid. Do not touch my phone. It's just like my purse. You can't handle what's inside, so don't even embark on it. To my future husband, you don't have to go through my phone. I can exactly tell you what's in the phone. And I'm smart. Do you think I'm gonna let you see something unless I want you to see it? No. Before you see, it's gonna be gone in the space on iCloud or whatever you wanna call it. Easy. If you live with a guy, what time he gotta come home? Nigga, bring you! Oh, shit. You tapping on my feelings. To my future husband, as soon as you get off work, you've got one hour to get home. You have to be at home at 11.30, midnight, like Cinderella, max. Why? Easy. Something could happen to you. Or I could do something to you. Easy. Please come home by 10. Cause ain't nothing open past 10 but motherfucking legs. Mine will be open at 10 if you come home. <laughs> That's a little early. What, like... No, it's not early. What the fuck? Cheating. <laughs> I will destroy you. Lord, have mercy of you. I will leave the scene. Hopefully it won't be a crime scene. But anyways, easy. Here's the deal. Cheating is anything that you would not do in front of me. Anytime you think about doing something, just think about me doing it. At least 10 guys try to get at me per day. That's 70 dudes a fucking week. Multiply that times the year, break it down over a lifetime, oh boy, you've got some competition. On a daily basis, I turn down guys just for you. I said, Granddaddy, I'm thinking about getting married. What do you think? He told me. He said he's glad he recorded his wedding so he can rewind it and walk away a free man. Now you call me out of my name Now I